Hello there. In this video, I will guide you on how to set up your social lounge as the organizer. Let's get started. First, go to your event dashboard. And once you are done setting up everything, simply click on enter event. And it will lead you to the reception page in case of the conference format. You will simply have to click on the lounge at the top and go to your social lounge. Or it will lead you directly to your social lounge in case of social webinar formats. Now, in order to edit the details of the lounge, simply click on this two line icon. And from here, you can modify the title, which is shown out here. You can also modify the subtitle, which is also shown just below the title. And you can also set up the number of tables that you want for your session. Right now, we have 12 tables. If you would like to select eight tables only for your session, then you can do so. Or you can select as many tables as per your plan and go ahead and save it. As you can see, we only had 12 tables earlier. Now we have 16 tables. In case of numerous tables, one can also search for the tables by clicking on here and typing in the table name. As the organizer, to edit the virtual table, simply hover over it and click on the three dot icon and click on edit. And from here, you can rename the table. You can also upload the image if you would like to add it to your table. You can also set up the number of seats for your table. Right now, we have four seats for this table, but you can increase the number of seats to eight by clicking on this plus icon or decrease it by using this minus icon. You can also set up the table settings as fixed or expanding. So whenever you set up your table as expanding, okay, that means once there are four people inside this table, one seat will be automatically added to this table until the maximum number of seats is filled. Now, if I set it out as fixed, then once there are four people inside this table, no one except the event organizer can join you in this table. And as for the table seats, you can have maximum of eight seats using this plus or minus operation. But if you are in a paid plan, then you can have up to 15 occupancy inside this table. Once done, go ahead and save it. As you can see, now we have eight tables. We can always modify it by clicking on edit. You can also click on the three dot icon and delete the table if you would like to delete that table. Now, in order to join the table, one can click on this join button. And once you are inside the table, you can also set up the layout of the table as per the number of participants inside your table. You can also enable your camera and mic to communicate or network with others inside this table. If you would like to share your screen, you can click on here and share your screen. This will be active only when there are two or more people inside the table. Now, in case of camera or mic issues, or if you would like to enable the virtual background, then you can simply click on this two line icon. And from here, you can click on this arrow icon and select the desired camera. You can come to the microphone and you can also select the microphone as per your requirements. You can also test your microphone, same with the speaker. You can select your speaker and test out your speaker. Now coming on to the camera section, you can also use the virtual backgrounds by simply selecting the virtual backgrounds. If you want to remove them, then you can simply click on this remove icon. If you would like to use a blur instead, then you can click on it. Or if you have your own image that you would like to use as a virtual background, then you can simply click on here and add that image to your background. Once that, go ahead and save it. You can also invite people to your table by clicking on this invite other buttons. You will have the option to either invite the individuals or invite the public. Invite individuals is selected by default. You can select the people inside the event and send them the invitation. The people who are invited to your table can either accept or reject your invitation. Let us understand how to send out the public invite. Simply click on here and click on publish invite. A public invitation will be sent out in the feed section. People can simply click on this join button to join you on the table. Inside the lounge, you can also chat with others using this chat option. You can also view the table participants by clicking on table participants and see who all are inside this table. You can also invite more people by clicking on invite more people from here and send out the invitation as per the need. Now, in order to close this section, simply click on this collapse icon and it will be closed. If you would like to minimize this table, then you can simply click on this minimize icon and the table will be minimized at the bottom left. You will still have the option to video and mic. You can also drag and drop this window anywhere inside the screen. Now, if you would like to maximize the screen, then you can simply click on here and maximize the screen. 
if you would like to go full screen then you can do so by clicking on here if you would like to leave the table then you can simply click on this cross icon and leave the table now as the event organizer you can also enable the discussion table for the attendees inside the event all you have to do is toggle this button on and the attendees will be able to see this and create their own discussion table to have their own private discussions there is one thing to keep in mind when you have enabled the discussion table that is if you go to this two line settings and try to change the number of tables then you cannot do it when this is enabled what you have to do is disable it by toggling off it will prompt you to either delete all the tables now or delete tables when empty let us select delete tables when empty and then go to this two line section and select the number of tables that you want to have inside the lounge and then enable this button again now for some of your event if you would like to disable the social lounge then you can simply click on settings click on customize event and go down till you reach the event experience and from there you can disable the social lounge and as you can see here social lounge is disabled you can enable the social lounge again from here itself and you will be able to see the social lounge again well that's how you set up the social lounge in airmaid as the organizer Hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.